M0 FX3 TRD Radio H8 third generation. Take a look at this. The main difference is they have they have added airband. So I wonder if they've got the later menu structure that you got with the TRD Radio H3 Plus. Now I've gone for the clear case because I've already got a black one of these, which I really like, by the way. Um, but I thought I'm going to go with the, go with the clear case here on this one. So yes, it has Bluetooth, so you can program it with OD Master. Which we're just seeing there, and we're going to do that. Still uses, let's have a look here, twin pin cable. I can't see any interface there. There is USB C charging, which is just here. Plug that in. Look at that. Oh, nice. And it goes green when it's fully charged. Battery wise, it clips down. Uh, let's have a look. Pretty sure that's 2,500 milliamp hours. So a nice chunky battery model is there. So it has come with a belt clip, USB-C charger, and it actually has a base charger as well. Antenna, how many antennas? One antenna, no programming cable, but it's just a Bofeng one and then a USB-C charger. Let's get everything on the table, then we'll turn the radio on. Instruction manual looks completely fine. I mean, they're very good on their backup. TID radio. You'll find if you message them, they always reply. And yeah, quite a lot of uh, photographs there with the OD Master app. An OD Master app actually works on your PC as well, as well via Bluetooth. I'll put the belt clip on like that. I think it would be easier with the battery off actually. Then you get that angle there. Look, see. Then you can just... It's easier to get that screw in place. And the belt, no, sorry, the wrist strap just goes a little hole there. Just tuck that into there. Okay, both on, and then plunk the battery back on. And then click that flat. And let's just turn it on for the first time. I mean, it is a beautiful, you know, they are beautiful radios, the TRDs, even the H3. Small, but very beautiful. Look at that. That looks fantastic. The whole thing lights up. Just a budget antenna, and there is a nice, it's a really nice design. Look at that torch, it looks really sleek like that. SOS button, volume on off here. Let's do the, quickly do the backlight. So, menu. Menu. And then, of course, it does talk to you. Then up and down with these ones here. So, one is squelch, two is power. And we're looking for backlight, menu, continuous. Oh, that looks so good. The first thing I'm going to do is connect my airband. So I've got an adapter here. It's going to screw into there. Just here. Then are we in VFO mode? So dedicated channel, mode. channel is memory. Frequency, mode. Frequency is is a VFO. So one, one three, 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 eight, five, zero. zero. Oh, why did that not go in? Bet we have to enable it in settings. So we're going to go menu and look for airband. Found it, and there it is there, menu 48. Then you just go menu, turn it on, and then exit. Ooh, select it first. <laughs> turn it on, menu, and then exit. Now we'll go one, one three, three, eight, five, zero. zero. Turn it up, and let's wait for a, oh, that was quick. That green LED coming through like that looks brilliant. Thank you, Quebec, 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 and a CTOT of 1605. So we will test the power. Let's go one, one four, four, five, five six, six hundred. Zero. Not in AM anymore. And then, so a quick key. We're in, should say on here what power. And it says medium there. Let's go menu. Menu. And just go to 01, which is squelch. Uh, Power, there it is there, menu, high. Confirm. Now, TRD Radio have been very good on their harmonics, so I will give it a test. 
uh, but generally they've been very good, you know, with the recent models. So there you are, one to one SWR, nine watts, plenty. So that's good, quite happy with that. And we'll just go menu, menu. low, Confirm. key again, M0 FXP test. It's on a dummy load anyway. That was two. And then menu, menu. Um, I think most people just want to see the high six watts on medium power. So yeah, no problem with the power there. So that's basically as far as I'm concerned, that's 10. Quick one here, just key up. Um, I left it on medium power. The fundamental is number one which goes up to, let's have a look now. No, and then these are 70, minus 70. So I would say that's a pass. You want it about 40, don't you? 40 dB below the, the first fundamental and the second harmonic third. So I think that seems okay to me. So we will see if it TX is on CB now. To open it up, you have to turn it off, press and hold the PTT and the star and turn on. And it does work. I, someone messaged me saying it doesn't work, but it definitely does. And then look, you've got the normal is pretty much the open one. So you go three and you can see that it was, um, we're going to go yes. Yeah. You can see that it, it does do GMRS. So let's see if that now TX is, let me get my dummy load, dummy load on that. No, it's not TXing anyway. So, uh, on the CB stuff. Maybe there is a way, but at the moment it's not. So let's try four, four, six. Again, we're on a dummy load here. Yeah, so it is TXing on four, four, six. Uh, but really, you shouldn't use these for PMR and four, six, two. Oh, didn't do that proper. Four, six, two. I mean, it will because it's a GMR, it can be a completely uh, dedicated GMRS radio. Now with the keys, yeah, they look backlit, but it's hard to see if, I think they are backlit because everything else is lighting up as we have the clear case. Of course, usual twin pin, I've got microphones here that will go in that. And uh, this is a Bluetooth device. So let's just hold down the Bluetooth, turned it on, it will detect on my app in a minute, uh, which we will look at. Let's just go menu. And look at the blue. That to me, the, the the menu structure looks like the older structure. I'm not seeing. And you've got CTCSS um, plus a minor shift. CTCSS. It's all there. And twenty, I would say twenty three, twenty four, twenty five is ones you're going to be using a lot. Yes, it searches CTCSS. It'll be a frequency scanning device. Oh, brightness. Okay, that's good. I didn't know it did that. Good for my video. <laughs> uh, Roger B, Roger Tail, searches CTCSS. Memory channel, very easy to add a memory channel. Just looking for any Bluetooth setting. To me, the Bluetooth isn't for audio on this device. You know, so it's, it's not like the H3 Plus, this one, which is a completely sort of almost like a re-hardware. This is uh, just an airband version of the TRD Radio H8. Let's see if the app finds it. So it's showing Bluetooth there. Select model. And we're going to go, let's put it where you can just sort of see me tinkering with it. Down, I'll put the link into download, but it's just, you know, just download the APK. Um, and then we're going to go select model, TRD Radio. Oh, that was a bit quick, so... Uh, connect to Bluetooth. There it is there. It's found it straight away. Let it connect. And then we're going to go read. And it says, make sure the radio Bluetooth adapter is turned on. Well, I think it is turned on. Oh, yeah. You ha I had to select the third generation. Now let's try it. Ta-da! It's working. What did that say? Please upgrade. I think it did. Let's do that again. Read. Please upgrade firmware version or select correct model. 
So do you remember we we switched it to not ham? We had it to unlock version. Let's have a look. Unlock Teddy Radio third gen GMRS or ham? Hmm. Well, let me just switch it. So I'm going to turn it off. PTT eight, not eight star. Turn on, and I'm going to select the ham one this time. Let it reboot. And then we'll do the Bluetooth, press and hold. That's on. Let's try now. We probably might need to connect. Give it a minute to find it. Oh, it's gone off, look. There you are. Hold down the BL button. You've got a dedicated AB button as well. So let's go back and then do connect again. There it's found it this time. I mean, they all work pretty much the same, these kind of apps, don't they? Read. Yeah, it needs new firmware. Let me update the firmware. Let's add a repeater to our TRD Radio H8 third generation model. This one has Airband. So first thing is go to VFO mode by pressing the dedicated VFO memory button. Channel, mode. Channel is memory. Channel mode. Frequency, mode. Frequency mode is VFO mode. So we're going to put in GB3WR, so we'll go 1... one. Four, five, six hundred. So that's the receive frequency. Then we can go menu, start to scroll through the menus. Naught is the bandwidth. And then if we go up with the up arrow, we're going to set the squelch. I like three. Press menu to confirm. And then we'll go to the power. I'll leave it at mid. So it's a 10 watt radio and I've tested it. It's fine and the harmonics look fine as well. Uh, so then we're looking for, I think, about 20, no, let's get it right, 13 for transmit CTCSS. We'll go menu, and we're going to go to 94.8. Menu, so that's that one. So when you transmit, it opens the repeater using that CTCSS. Then quickly go up to 23. And So when you key, you want a minus shift. It will go down to 600. So menu, and then go up and down until it says minus menu. And then we need to tell it how much to shift. So go up one and look the offset, go menu, and go naught, 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 then six, naught, naught, and then just go menu. So what happens now is when we transmit M0FXB test, it will, it will bring down the frequency by 600 kilohertz because repeaters work on two separate frequencies for receive and transmit okay so that's all done so we've got everything in there that we need and it's all showing on the screen as well um, it will actually show you if I transmit it actually show you the CT CSS here as I transmit oh, I just says CT but with some firmware uh, it will show you the amount I'll, I'll see if we've got the latest firmware as well on this because we might need updating very easy to do with a Bofeng UV5R cable so now we just want to add it to memory so all we do is go menu, menu. And we're looking for memory look there. You can delete memories on 26, but we want to add one. Go menu and don't choose the one that says CH. Choose the one that doesn't say CH. Otherwise, they're already occupied. I'm hoping there's not going to be too many occupied. Otherwise, we can start deleting some. <laughs> there you are. I know it's a bit high, but 33 is not used. So now we'll go menu. Yeah, so that's in there on 33. Let's exit a minute. Go into VFO memory mode. So by pressing the dedicated button. And look, it took us, it actually remembers that we were there. So all we now need to do is give it a name. So we're just going to, in memory mode, we're going to go menu. And we're looking for, to, to name this now. Whilst we're looking for that, look, menu 20, it says frequency, but we want it to be name. So we go menu name so, so at least when we do set the name that we will see it now it looks to me like we can't add the name using the radio but if we can a video will follow bye for now well, i've tried to load it using the app and my pc it does connect but it's not reading we'll keep trying bye for now thanks for watching